The built-in Avada header options in the Avada theme are really powerful if you know where they're at, first of all, <laughs> and then also how to use them. So in this video, I'm just going to give you an overview of where the Avada header options are so that you can change this header area of your website. And then I'm going to give you a run through of the different options that exist. So if you have your WordPress website set up with the Avada theme installed, then you should see this Avada option up here where you can then go to global options. You can also get there from the back end under Avada options. So this is the global options, meaning essentially the options that control the layout of the entire website. And then on this left hand bar here, if you click on header, then this is essentially the Avada header options here. So there's four different categories. You got the content, background image, styling, and then the sticky header. So let's start with the Avada header content area here. Um, so first of all, you can choose the position of the header. 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna wanna have it up here at the, at the top, which is how we have it set here. There are some rare occasions where it's useful to have it on the left-hand side, uh, but 90% of the time, or 99% of the time, you want it up top here. So you can just leave that, but feel free to play around with that. The other thing is Avada has these pre-built templates for the header that you can choose from. Um, I really like this version number two here, version number three, four, and five. Those are the ones that I use the most personally. Um, you know, with something like this, it's really nice and clean, but you don't have like the contact. I really like to have the contact information up here at the top so that people can reach out at any point in time. Uh, but, you know, depending on what your needs are, you can select the one that you feel fits your website the best. And then when you up, when you click save changes here and update, then that's automatically going to reflect up here. Keep in mind, though, if you start switching between these, sometimes you have to reformat the styling of the header. So just something to be aware of. Um, and then you can choose the slider position. So right here we have the slider underneath the header. You could technically drop this header down below this slider area. Um, again, there's some some situations like if it's very graphic in you know your business is very graphic oriented then you might have a big image up here at the top and then the navigation underneath but again kind of a rare situation to have that switched around um, and then you can choose so because i'm using this version number three here it's giving me the option to select what content i want to have up in the top left and the top right so right here we have the contact information in the top left so that's the phone number you can also add an email address here, but we just have this clickable phone number. So that's just HTML phone link there. And then the right hand side, we have navigation. So what I always suggest is contact information and then like a button where people can get a free quote or shop or get started. That tends to work really, really well. Uh, so that's how that whole section works right there. Um, and then there is the option to use a background image. So right now you can see this white space behind here. You could technically have a background image behind here that it's like some texture or some abstract image. Uh, so that is an option. I've never really used that much. I think maybe once or twice ever. <laughs> um, but then we get to the header styling. So this is um, where you're going to be able to control the actual style and appearance of the header section up here. So for one, we've got a header shadow. So I don't think we have a page on here, uh, but to show this, but if there wasn't an image here, you'd have white running directly into white. So if you have a shadow underneath the header, then that makes that uh, look a lot better. So I like to use this header shadow. Oh, I skipped over this. You got the header padding as well. So you can choose if there's you know, padding up top, left, right, bottom. So you can control that here. You can always ch also choose 100% width. So right now you can see how everything's cutting off right about here. If you did 100% width, then this these header items would extend all the way to the width of the screen. So the logo would be all the way over here. Uh, so again, that's kind of a styling preference. 
And then you have your basic colors. So we've got the header background, which is white. And then the archive header background, which is like if you're looking at, you know, blog post categories, that's an archive page or the 404 page. Um, so I typically just leave these the same. And then you have the header border color and the top background color and the top background color is this brown color up here. So pretty straightforward. I mean, there's not too much to, to change here. And then you do have the option to use a sticky header. So if we turn on the sticky header, essentially what that's going to do, I'll just show you this real quick. It's gonna keep the header stuck at the top of the site. See that kind of mess things up, but that's the sticky header. So it just stays up at the very top of the site even when you scroll down. Um, so let's see if we remove this and refresh this if it goes right back to how it was. So that's what I was talking about. When you start making changes to the header, sometimes it can screw up the formatting. So you can see now the padding's all messed up here and this is all messed up. So I'll have to go back through and fix this. Uh, but that's basically it. Those are the Avada header options. If there's anything within the Avada header options that you had questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.